Once again, this was available. You knew about that because you were notified about the same that she was trying to read through here. Uh, let us not make excuses of things like that. Uh, we're going to stay in control here. The thing that's very clear is that you had it, you could have come in, you could have read it early on. So we don't find excuses how not to do stuff, or who didn't clean the bathroom. We're spending over a million dollars in that park. So just watch it and just watch it as we go along the, the line. And I want everybody else out there to know, we have on board right now almost a billion dollars worth of work in construction going on in this village. Once again, I didn't say a thousand, I didn't say a million, I said a billion dollars going on in this village. So please don't try and step on toes because you never know what foot is connected to. Thank you very much. Now, do we have anyone like to speak on the same? I would just request that anybody who is planning to speak, make sure you fill out the form and turn it into the clerk with your name and address. And please begin your remarks. By the forms I don't think there are enough forms. There aren't any forms that. Can okay. I, I get them? May I get them? It's okay. I'll All right, we'll get some. We'll get, we'll, we'll get them. Okay. Uh, and, and please begin your remarks with your name and your address uh, before you speak. Thank you. Is this microphone working? Yes. My name is Stephen White. I live at 10 Garden Place in Spring Valley. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, regarding the proposed down zoning of the properties on Ridge Avenue, I urge the Board of Trustees not to approve this change. I have spoken many times over the last few years at these meetings of the Board of Trustees, most often to ask that the Spring Valley Zoning Code be enforced in my neighborhood. Up until today, my neighbor at 12 Garden Place continues to operate a contractor's storage yard, which is not allowed. Sir, you must speak on what this, what the, what this item is. You can't speak on anything else. It's this item. That was an item for the uh, open portion. That has absolutely nothing to do with this. Please stick with the open portion here, and please look that up in that same book. If All you right, bear stay with, with me. me. If you no, bear with me. Stay with me. I can't right bear with there. you. We're going to deal with what's here, and that's what it's going to be, all right? Not allowed in the R1 zone that we live in. One really has to ask why it is that some people, such as myself, cannot get the village to even enforce the existing laws, while other people can have the laws changed to suit their needs <coughs> without ever even having to appear in public to ask for it. How did they get such a deep access to the back rooms of power in the village of Spring Valley. When I heard about the proposed down zoning on Ridge Avenue, I decided to do a little research to find out how some property owners can get the laws changed to suit their needs. From the Rockland County Clerk's Office website, I learned that one of the properties scheduled for this change has recently been purchased by a corporation called Ridge Avenue LLC. This corporation is registered at 1235 46th Street in Brooklyn. From the website of the New York State Board of Elections, I find at 1235 46th Street in Brooklyn a Mr. Manasha Horowitz, who was on the record as a major donor to Friends of George Darden. $1,000 last year, $990 more this year. Now I believe everyone can understand what the difference is between a simple taxpayer and homeowner such as myself and a corporation like Ridge Avenue LLC. Of course, the only way the mayor can deliver to the corporation is with the support of a rubber stamp board. That's why I'm appealing to Normie Jasmine, who's on her cell phone right now. Because that's none of your business right now. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. I, I'm going to try to shift. Let's it's keep it down right there. I'm appealing to Normie right Jasmine. Keep it down right there, please. Uh, we get somebody gets you out of here, keep it down. I'm not going to play games with you. 
I'm appealing to Philip Rosenthal. I'm appealing to Anthony Leon, and I'm appealing to Demesa Delon. Please do the right thing and vote no on the downzoning rule, which will make a Brooklyn developer rich at the expense of the residents of Ridge Avenue and the dignity of the people of the village of Spring Valley. I'm leaving copies of the deed and the donations mentioned above, along with my comments, with the village clerk for the permanent minutes of this meeting. Thank you. And thank you very much.